We've been watching live coverage of our NBC affiliate in Kansas City, where celebration has turned into tragedy. At least 10 people shot at the end of the victory parade for the Kansas City Chiefs. From local authorities, we understand that one of those people has died, five people are in serious condition, three in critical, and one with non-life threatening injuries. I want to go right to NBC News correspondent Jesse Kirch. He's joining us from on the ground in Kansas City. Jesse, what'd you see? Yeah, Gabe, so we were here for the aftermath at that point of the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl celebration. And what we noticed after the rally had wrapped up, uh, just minutes after that wrapped up, people as they were dispersing, thousands of people dispersing from this area, we saw a group over here rushing away. And at the same time, we saw what appeared to be police officers rushing into the area. And while that was going on... Uh, we, at one point, eventually saw someone being wheeled out in a stretcher over in this area. And then uh, just in the last several minutes, we saw someone uh, appearing to be ushered out of the area and put in a vehicle by police. We're going to leave the camera over there because that is the hive of activity right now. Just want to make sure we don't miss anything um, from our camera position. Uh, but I know we've been seeing, you know, uh, these images coming in. This was a day that started uh, as a celebration here in Kansas City. This was the Chiefs winning their second Super Bowl title in a row. Uh, officials expected there could be around a million people out here. Uh, you always have big crowds when you have a celebration like this. But a couple extra factors. Uh, we are looking looking at temperatures around 60 degrees. That is quite warm, right, for February. So that gives people an incentive to come outside and enjoy the day out here. The other thing was there's, of course, Taylor Swift intrigue because of her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, on the Chiefs, and there were questions about if she would be here. So there's the potential for Taylor Swift fans, who aren't Chiefs fans, uh, per se, to also be at this event. And so... Those uh, had officials expecting the possibility of larger crowds than they saw last year when they had a championship parade. Uh, in this area, we had thousands of people. The rally had wrapped up, so people had started moving away. But we're talking about uh, about twice the population of Kansas City overall expected to be filling uh, a stretch of downtown. And if you think about it, uh, you can't just get from A to B quickly in that kind of scenario. And even well after this incident unfolded and after we saw authorities rushing in and after the sirens started, we continued to see people milling about, including with children, and we saw people trying to walk away from the area uh, and they were walking, Gabe. Uh, cell reception has been an issue out here, so perhaps they didn't uh, get any alerts at that point. We uh, did not hear gunshots from where we were, so perhaps they just did not realize what was going on. And, and again, even if they were trying to rush out of here, I can't imagine how fast they could have actually gotten away from this area just because uh, of the massive influx of people that were in this vicinity at the time things unfolded. And so I told you about what we saw on the ground, and at the same time, we had had uh, at least one long, long gun on a rooftop. There was another crew uh, with binoculars, at least, on the rooftop where we are right now. And those teams, as we noticed, things changing on the ground those teams seem to be paying closer attention to what was unfolding on the ground and we now know from officials that this wound up being a deadly incident and as you mentioned uh, there are multiple people who were injured as well uh, because of the nature of this event you have celebrity sports athletes here you have athletes here. You have uh, thousands upon thousands of people of all ages. We also know there would be uh, elected officials here. We know from their uh, official Twitter accounts that the governors of both Kansas and Missouri were here at the rally, and we are told they are okay. Uh, so it just gives you a sense uh, of the range of people who were here uh, and just the number of people who were here, Gabe, at an event uh, that was supposed to be a celebration and unfortunately has gone sideways and turned deadly, Gabe. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.